In this problem, we want to determine the domain, the range, the x-intercepts, and y-intercept. So our domain, domain is your x-values where your graph exists. Well, uh, this stops right here, but it actually keeps going forever. So as it keeps going forever this way, um, then the x-values go to negative infinity. Now the rightmost part of a graph stops right here. It doesn't go any further. So it doesn't exist at x equals 3. If I go up or down, I don't find my graph anywhere. So our domain will be from negative infinity to 2. And it'll be a bracket on 2. If you don't, if you don't have an open circle, it's automatically a bracket. Now B, our range. Our range is our y values where a graph exists. Well, if I come down here to negative 1, for example, if I go left and right, I don't find my graph anywhere. It doesn't exist down here. Uh, this is our lowest point of our graph, and if I go straight over to the y-axis, that'd be y is equal to 0. So I'm going to go from 0. Now, as it goes up like this, notice how um, as it's going to the left, it's slowly going up. So it'll, as it keeps going to the left, it'll keep slowly going up, keep slowly going up forever until it goes to positive infinity. And again, bracket on 0 and Infinity is always at parentheses. Now our x-intercept looks like it touches at 2. So it'd be 2, or if you want to write in point form, it'd be 2, 0. Our y-intercept is where it touches or crosses the y-axis, which looks like 1.4 maybe. So I could write 1.4, or if you want to write in point form, that's fine too. It'd be 0 0.1.4. And those are our answers.